Hey everybody, welcome to Angel Dogs Tarot. I hope you're doing brilliantly well today. So today we have got a love reading where we are going to be looking at very in detailed energy about what's going on from your, for your person. So we're actually going to be looking at um, energy that's flowing across all of their kind of energy centers and then how does that relate to what is happening with between you and them and how they're thinking, how they're feeling and what are their intentions towards you. So for pile number one, to draw you into readings, we have got the Magical Dog's Tarot and our lovely White Rose. For pile number two, we have got the Animundi, Anin Animamundi Tarot, and we've got this lovely golden yellow rose. For pile number three, we have got the Cat Tarot and this beautiful pink rose. And for pile number four, we have the Angel Dog's Tarot and this lovely blue rose. So if you need a little bit more time, I'll just leave the video running and otherwise I will see you in your readings. Hey, pal number one, welcome to your reading. You chose the Magical Dogs Tarot and we have got the white rose here so what i'm going to do first of all is just get some energies around the different chakra points of this person so for the root chakra we have got burdens for the sacral chakra we have got friends for the solar plexus chakra we have got paint for the heart chakra we've got relationships and purpose so pink is relationships and purpose is green so for the heart chakra, we have got oh, release and money. OK, came for tumbling out together for the heart chakra purpose. We have got control for the throat chakra energy. We have got hearing for the third eye chakra energy. We have got growth and for the crown chakra energy, we have got challenges okay i'm immediately struck by the uh the very purple and blue and pink energy that's going on in here there's a little bit of grounding here so this so your person feels very grounded when they're amongst friends they feel very happy and at their most comfortable when they're surrounded by people that they feel that they can trust um, and being around friends helps them feel very creative. They get a lot of creative inspiration from some of their friends. Perhaps they might work with one of their friends. Um, they are going through some kind of transition psych psychically. So they're really discovering what it is that they want to say. They're discovering some of their some of their intuitive capability. This person is actually very intuitive. They might have very good third eye vision. There, there's there's not a lot going on in here with this person about their their sense of self. I feel like that. I feel like they're kind of displaced. It feels like that they're, um, what's the right word? I feel like they're going through some kind of spiritual transformation. And they're really figuring out here with the root chakra energy how much of life they want to carry around with the burdens of, of vision. They perhaps feel a little bit overburdened by their visions. They're perhaps getting a lot of psychic downloads and it's causing them to feel quite ungrounded. And here with the there's, there's kind of like no yellow or orange in here as well. There's a little bit of red here, but there's no yellow or orange in terms of the energies that are surrounding them at this point in time. So I feel like they're quite displaced from reality. Um, they might have some fears around money in terms of relationships. If you're not with them, then they are um, they're really figuring out how to have a purpose that they're going to really, really love that will bring them rewards and release them from the fear of being able to get close to somebody. And this person is feeling a bit controlled by their current their current life, their current work life. Not by the not by the not by the relationship life. They they love it being with people, um, and they and that may include you. It may not. I, we ha we'll find out yet whether you're in separation or whether you're with this person or we haven't met them yet. Um, but this person is is yeah. They they're just they're learning to hear the world in a different way. But I, I feel like they're getting a lot of um, hearing that they 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 might be. 
They might be somebody who is actually being connected to by spirit. And we've got this pink, we've got challenges around their crown chakra energy and we've got the crown chakra energy here. I feel like they're a little bit challenged to have relationships at this point in time that are close because they're they're not sure of who they are. They're not sure of they're not sure of all of the energy that's flowing around them at this point in time. I think they're quite confused. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I can't even count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's get some tarot and see what's going on for this person. We have got the high priestess. Yeah, okay, intuition. And we have got the eight of fire. Things are happening really fast around their intuitive capability. Ten of earth, the fire guardian, that's the king of wands. And, or it could be the knight of wands. And we have got the two of earth. Something's lit. Something's really lit this person up. Um, normally, I think they're really quite down to earth. I think they're a person who actually loves family, loves hanging around. Maybe you have a family with this person. Maybe you actually have children with this person. Um, but they're struggling to get themselves into balance. They've 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 suddenly discovered some kind of intuition, and and things are really kind of like there's a lot of shifting energy going on around their psychic capability, and. And it's like it it it's almost like um pinging them out of reality. And what they really need is just trying to get some balance again. And they're struggling with that. They they just kind of they just kind of don't know where they just don't they don't really know what's up and what's down. They don't really know what is real and what isn't real at this point in time. It's like they're finding out the duality of life. And it's exciting. I think they're really excited by it, but they're struggling to put it into words. They're unable to voice themselves because they keep on receiving information. They're channeling, they're channeling. But then they've got they've got work and they don't know how to control all of this energy that's flowing. Okay, so child, so this is some archetype that is either them or people that are influencing them. So light attributes, friendship with animals, communication with nature spirits. There we go. That's what's happening. Okay. Yeah, they're receiving downloads. And storyteller, ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. I wonder if your person's actually writing a book. They might be writing a child's book, but this is a cha it's channeled. Like they're, they're, ch they're, they're automatic writing or they've discovered automatic writing and um, it's very exciting for them, but they really don't know what to do with it. It's making them feel very, very ungrounded and normally they're very grounded and they love they love being grounded. They love being grounded with friends. They love being grounded in their creativity. Um, they perhaps love being grounded in their sexual energy as well, if that's something that you enjoy together, if you're with this person, but they're they they want stability but it's kind of anything but life doesn't feel stable at this point in time it feels exciting and it feels new and fresh and spiritually connected they might have discovered animal communication and then suddenly they're getting all of this inroads inroad inroad of information they might have discovered automatic writing they might not be sharing this at this point in time because it's it feels out of control it feels very different and very they might worry that that would bring challenges into a relationship with this crown chakra energy. Maybe they've had re Reiki recently. If you if you if you if you sense this, but you don't quite know, like find out if this person's been doing any energy work um, or any courses that they might have been taking, because something's really something's really impacting them. Exciting, but um, weird for them. Okay, so what's going on in their head? We have got here boundaries. Okay, so they might have some distance between you at this point in time and perspective. Yeah, they're really struggling to get a bit of a perspective on life. And um, we've got higher self-consciousness, subconsciousness. Um, if you're feeling that this person is a bit distant from you, it's definitely not personal. It's just like, like their whole inner world is going through some kind of complete and utter change. That one's coming off the top of top, the top as well. C alpha female. They're feeling their whole experience, their whole life is feeling different. We've got the shaman. Yeah. Okay. And we have got the three of earth. Okay. This person could have been taking or had an experience like where they've had um, you know, magical plant medicine, for example, or they've gone through a Kundalini rising experience. Um they're feeling their emotions in a very, very different way. They're feeling themselves, they're feeling their inner world. Perhaps they've never really felt their inner world before. Um, and they're hanging out perhaps with friends that kind of they understand or get them to a certain extent. 
here with the three of earth it's kind of like the only way that they can feel a little bit grounded is just to spend time with certain people that make them feel grounded and that might mean that they have some kind of boundaries up between you at this point in time or they have boundaries around spending time with people who don't make them feel grounded or and or get what they're doing they're doing they're doing something that is lifting them spiritually but it could be taking them out of their body as well at the same time um they might be discovering meditation for the first time and they've just had some really wild beautiful experiences and and they're kind of like they don't even know how to share that because it's just been so profound um okay so what is their soul saying what's going on for this person's soul we have got spiritual message yep <laughs> and we have got message of love yeah they've been connected to by source energy they've discovered something very profound um and, and they really want to share it i think they'd love to share it but they just can't even put it into words at this point in time we have got here the magician <laughs> yeah and we have got the nine of earth yep and we have got here the sky alpha male yeah Okay, this person is on a bit of a spiritual journey, not a bit, a lot of a spiritual journey. Something very, very magical has happened to them. They have connected to the energy and the magic of the universe in a way that they've never experienced before. It's so profound, um, so deep, so magical. At this point in time, they're kind of feeling very, kind of a little bit independent, a little bit needing to understand their sense of self. Who are they? It's like it's shaken them to the core about who who they really are, and they're really speaking the cut. They're really trying to speak the truth to themselves about um what is reality what is real a new reality has happened to this person um so um i mean beautiful changes beautiful beautiful changes perhaps quite challenging for you because they may they may very well not be sharing this and they're definitely going through a transformation that they didn't expect okay so let us see what um what are they feeling? So that was their soul. We've got their mind. What are they feeling? We have got here dedication. Your challenges will reap rewards. And we have got rest, be still and listen. Both of these people here are in tune with animals. They're very reflective. The head on one side, kind of like, what is going on? What is going on? Um, they're trying to make sense. They're really trying to make sense of their feelings. They're trying to make sense of, um, yeah, I, I feel for some of them, literally, they've just suddenly opened up to receiving downloads, particularly from animals. And we have got here the Sky Guardian. We have got here the Dog Star. Wow. And we have got the Five of Earth. On one level, this person is feeling... Um, it's feeling like they've discovered a whole new world. And... And it's very much about spirituality. It's very much about faith. They've, they've, they've discovered a renewed faith in life, in the universe. Very, very, very much related to nature and in particular related to animals. Um, so they might be, look here, we've got this, this person cuddling an animal. We've got one person cuddling an animal. We've got one person cuddling an animal. This person, if they, they have a pet or a dog, they might be spending a lot more time with their pets than they, they are with you. Um, and you may be feeling a little bit left out, a bit disappointed, a bit a bit unsure about what's going on, a bit worried about them. Um, or they are feeling, um, yeah, they're, they're feeling very, they're feeling a bit isolated from from what they know. So they're having to figure this out. And I, I, I have to say, I'm just going to step in this point in time because I really resonate with this a little bit. Um, so three, two years ago, I discovered um, animal communication by by chance. I've got a, a YouTube video on it in a in a different on my Isla Wellness Academy pod, podcast, and I and I and I was able to share the experience with the people I was training with, but the people I kind of normally spent time with 
um, including my ex-husband, and we shared a dog at the, the point in time, and we're very good friends, but I couldn't tell anyone about it because it was just too profound a bit an experience. Um, so it's uh, so this person is really processing something very profound. Okay, what are they dreaming about? A bright future. The darkest hour is just before the dreams, okay? And we have got here inspiration begin now. Okay, so what are they dreaming about? They're, they're, they're very inspired by life. Um, they're very much seeing a bright future and we'll come on in a sec about how that relates to you so we're just getting the rest of their overall understanding about your person and we have got what are they dreaming about the six of c we have got here sky puppy and we have got here the three of c okay so this person is really buoyant about the future all right. They're very inspired by what they found, although they might be with, very withdrawn. They're very, very, very inspired. And um, it feels like life has just taken on a new perspective to them. The six of C, it feels like things that have been in turmoil in their mind for many years are now making a lot more sense. And, um, you know, they can really discover the joy in life. I'm just going to adjust the light ever so slightly. Yeah. Things are really starting to light up for them, actually. And they're getting a lot of they're getting a lot of their playfulness back where before life of life might have been a bit heavy. Like, what's the point of going to work and being controlled and it's controlling me? Um, and so this person is really seeing that life could be a lot more fun and, and, and they could really see how they could use this to energy or this information this this lovely joyful aspect of themselves that they're starting to awaken to they could really see how it could be um embodied into their life in a way that would be much much more fun much more much more happy um much they'd be much more in harmony with who they are and their environment and with other people um so they're just they're just following they're following their own guiding light they they may be in hermit mode at this point in time because it's a big process to go and find um sort of the, the duality of life when they have not experienced it before okay so what is going on around this person what are they thinking about you and this connection so let's get some information about the two of you now now that now that you know what's going on for them hopefully that gives a bit of perspective about how they might be being around you social media following watching stories and posting and we've got jealous envy green eyes and paranoia okay this person is really keeping their eye on you okay so even if you are in connection or not in connection although this person is going through this big 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 process they are they really they really vibe with you they want they want to know what you're up to they are checking up on you they are um they are following you and and they don't want you to be with anyone else. They're a bit paranoid, but they can't, they kind of can't do anything about it yet because they're going through this process. Okay, so what else are they feeling about you? Seven of fire. <laughs> okay, the call, which is the world, the 20 card, 20, and the five of fire. Whoa, oh my goodness. You like this, you are the world to this person but they are really worried like they're very conflicted at this point in time they are worried that um you are they're worried that you might get away from them and they feel very they feel very protective of you and they feel they feel very conflicted at this point in time because they do not want any competition for your attention they they really feel that there's a future with you they would feel like you would be the best thing for them ever if you're interested and 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 if you're not then um you know that's still how they feel about you obviously you've got free will um and they're following you and they're checking up on you but if they're if they're not in communication or if they're distant it's because they're trying to figure themselves out because there's just so much has happened to them that they um they they don't really know who they are at this point in time. So they kind of need to ground that back into reality. They're normally very, very grounded, but they, they need to ground themselves back into being able to be grounded. Um, and then that would that would help open up everything for you. But in terms of how they feel, they they are just like or or how they view this connection, they they want it big time, but they're they're worried. They're worried because they're they're keeping an eye on you and they don't want any competition and they want to protect you and they want to keep everybody else away. But I feel that they're not able to do that at this point in time. OK, so what are their intentions towards you? We have got 
knot relationships. They want to tie the knot with you. <laughs> and we have got dice chance. Yeah, they want to take a chance. They want to take a chance. Um, they would love to have you in their future. And if you're married to this person already, then they they want to tie a, a type of knot. I'm like, again, they want to they want to keep you on a string. Um, so be careful of that. There's a bit of dependency going on in here. So they would love to take a chance. They 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 feel that the role of the dice, they feel that this is you are the best, like luck brought you to them into their life. Um, so their intentions towards you are to to take a chance and move towards you to take a chance on a long-term committed relationship and um, and if you're already in a long-term committed relationship then they want to they want to take a chance on doing something leading perhaps leading you down this path of um of spirituality or energy or connection to animals perhaps they want to take a chance of actually telling you what it is that's going on for them and overcoming the fear that you might think that that's really weird and reject them tower sudden and unexpected change we've got the world again Oh no, that's the twenty in the call. Twenty-one. Okay, sorry. I, 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 I. They're going through a realization process. Yeah. All right. So backtrack slightly to the previous message. They know. They know that you're the right person for them. And then straight away we've gone from the twenty to the twenty-one in the world. You are their world. All right. A sudden and unexpected change is going to. They're going to shift. And here we've got the Tennessee. Wow. All right. The Ten of Cups. Their intentions towards you are to having a long-term, happy ever after future for the rest of their life. They want and they're ready for a un- sudden and unexpected change. I think they're so tuned in to themselves and you actually more than they think that something's going to shift. The universe is actually going to make this happen. Um, you may or may not want to be with them. So that is entirely up to you. You have free will. But this person's intentions towards you are to... Um, are to take a chance and and it's almost like they're they're hoping the universe will make that happen for them so that they they can bring together they can bring they can bring they can bring their happy ever after into their world and we've got the 10 here of pentacles like they 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 want to have stability they want to have they want to have the world they want to have everything they want to have that with you um they kind of just need to bring themselves back down to, to back down to earth again after this incredible awakening that they're going through. They're going through this big awakening process. Okay, and so we'll just get some uh, final messages from your guardian angels and some advice. So from your guardian angels, that will get your guardian angel here and their guardian angel there, and we'll see. And that's for you. We've got liberation. Keep yourself flowing and free. And from their guardian angel, we have got application. Yeah, they are working on applying their downloads and their knowledge. I think they may well be working on a book or they might be writing about their experiences. They're definitely working on how to apply what they are learning from the universe into their real world, because normally they're very, very grounded. And the advice from your angels is just to keep yourself free flowing and liberate yourself from any concerns about when this tower moment might happen. And the Ten of Cups is coming towards you because it is coming. Um, And um, there's 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 energy at play that is out with either of your control. Um, Okay, so any more tarot, anything else? We've got Earth Puppy. We have got Temperance. And we have got three of fire and we have got the empress. Amazing. Okay. So advice from your angels for you is to keep just doing things that you really, really love. Keep yourself, um, keep yourself grounded, moving towards your future, doing things that you love. Keep yourself in balance. Keep yourself moving forward on your own path, your own creativity, your own self-expression really 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 be sovereign in your own energy that's kind of like your job in all of this is to keep yourself free from worrying about what's going on in here because this person is going through a huge awakening and they just have to work out how to apply that into their lives to bring them back down to earth and then the universe is just going to shift things so that you can come together if that's something that you want to do or it's going to shift things so that your relationship is just going to go to the next level the next dynamic maybe you'll get a proposal if that's something that you're interested in or you're going to get some kind of um uh what's the right word um 
your your person's kind of just going to tug on your heartstrings to say, hey, let's take a chance on rolling the dice of our life and going off and doing something different together, um, using this spirituality, this gifts that we have um, between us. You've definitely got third eye vision here. You're somebody who's no, you probably know this. You you I, you probably feel all of this going on for you, um, but this is lovely confirmation for you. Um, so we're just going to finish with a couple of pieces of advice. Again, this one is for you and this one is for them. So for you, forgiveness of others. Forgiveness does not mean that something bad has happened to us was okay. Forgiveness means that we choose to move beyond the experience and to release any ongoing need for retribution. In doing so, we no longer need to keep the memory of what happened alive within us. This choice reinstates our entitlement to be in charge of our own lives. Okay, so if there's any stuck energy around anyone that's kind of upset you in the past, perhaps a previous relationship or um, people at work who haven't treated you right, just work on freeing yourself from the energy of anyone, really. Um, just allow energy to flow through you. And and when we focus on someone else who's blocked us, the focus of focusing on their block keeps us blocked. <laughs> okay, so we just kind of want to focus on the future and then allow the block to just go behind us and forget about them. Okay, and then we have application. So for you, for the person, um, some uh, kind of guidance that's going on that they're receiving believe in themselves okay you are an important you are important you are lovable you are special you are a unique ordinary person extraordinary person wherever you've come from whatever has happened to you in the past it's time to let go of any negative perceptions that you might carry about yourself okay so that is what the your person's angels are working on giving them signs and synchronicities and if you do come into contact with them at all um then just facilitate them somehow believing in themselves and believing in their gifts so they've got big spiritual gifts going on in here and for you it's just liberate yourself from looking backwards at anybody and keep looking forwards on this path ahead your creativity your self-expression your sovereignty and having fun just having fun playing with like the dynamics of earth of mother earth and nature of the life that you have and keep yourself in balance and um watch out future this is going to be amazing when a little bit of divine timing perhaps but actually i feel that it's quite close really because we've got the tower in here um it feels like this person is really coming to an understanding with the liberation here the 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 20 and the 21 they're very very close to completing their cycle of understanding this spirituality and um even if they're spending a lot of time with friends they're very much um uh focused as well on how to bring a relationship with you into reality and understand their spiritual side how to let go of things that didn't serve them in the past how to listen to the the channeling that is coming through them and um and growing their psychic gifts i mean it's very beautiful it's very it's this is lovely um here yeah there was no yellow there was no yellow in here which is self-worth and here we've got believe in themselves believe in yourself so they're just they're recovering their self-worth to an extent as well um, and then watch amazing things happen so i hope this really really helps you understand what is going on for your person i'm going to leave it there pal number one thank you so much for being with me take care bye Hey, pile number two, welcome to your reading. I hope you're doing brilliantly well. So you chose the Anana, Anana I can't say that word. That's the second time we've got it wrong. Anna, Anima Mundi Tarot. And we have got this beautiful gold, sort of golden yellow rose here. So we're just going to get a total understanding of the energy of your person and what's going on for them. And I'm going to work with the chakras first of all to see what energies are flowing through them and around them. So we have got here transform around the root chakra energy. Um, pink energy is relationship heart energy we have got power with creative the sacral chakra energy and we have got here nature around the solar plexus chakra we have got around the heart centered energy relationships so two heart centered energy relationships um <laughs> sorry two heart centered energies Pink is relationships and green is purpose. So we've got prepare for pink and we have got higher self for green purpose energy. Around the throat chakra energy, we have got here fun time. Around the third eye chakra energy, we have got here work. And around the crown chakra energy, we have got pets. 
Okay. Pile number two. Your person in a very good place. They are... I'm going to say, oh, they're preparing themselves for some kind of transformation around this relationship. So here, they're wanting to ground. I'm just leaving that there because it came off the bottom of the deck, but I'll come back to it in a sec. They're preparing themselves to transform their material world, their reality. And, and it's kind of like a work in progress. So they're working on this. So they're very much focused on this relationship as though it's almost like a task that they need to they need to um, sort out and they know they're making room. I, 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 you know, if you're not with this person and you haven't met them yet, or you're with this person and you're dating them, they're preparing their material world to make room for you. And it's kind of like almost like a bit of an objective for themselves. They're also making their purpose. They're making themselves into a better person. They're really focusing on um, speaking what it is that makes them have fun. They love having fun with you. That that like that there's this blue and blue energy. So they they just even just speaking to you gives them a huge amount of fun. They're really feeling powered up in terms of their creativity and their sense of self. They are nurturing their vision. They've got a vision of what life will be like around themselves. And that definitely includes you in here. Um, they're really working, they're working on their, yeah, they're working on their vision. They've got they've got a they've got an understanding of what it is, they're working on it. And um, and here with pets, they're they're imagining, they're almost like bringing in like the complete family, pets, children, you name it, whatever, whatever, whatever is right for you. Um, pet projects, for example, um, bringing in creativity. This person is like they're preparing themselves for some next level um, interaction with you, making room in their material world to spend more time with you. And, and they're really working on themselves to make that happen. They're working, they're trying to make themselves into a better person for you. And it's, they're feeling very empowered by it. Okay, we have got here the eight of wands. Yeah, they're they're heading fast towards messaging you about something. Okay, so that is I'm actually I'm going to put that back in the deck because this kind of came off. But prepare yourself for some kind of message from them, um, an invitation to move in, a a invitation to marry, a request to get a pet together, a an invitation to. Um, uh, get married or if you're already married there like prepare yourself for some kind of surprise that they're making room for perhaps they're even building a they're building something or they're surprising you by transforming one of the rooms in your house for example they think they just feel very very empowered and having loads and loads of fun with you um they feel like you get them you get their work that you get you get what they're all about um so this is really really lovely Okay, so we're going to get some archetype cards just to understand a bit more about your person. So we're just going to get a real, real big picture understanding of them, what they're about, who they are, and then we'll look at their intentions and feelings towards you. But we're just going to focus on you helping you understand them at a, at a deeper level. So we've got athlete, light attributes, dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. And look at this power here. We have got monk nun light attribute selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit and we have got here shapeshifter but it's come out upside down so shadow attribute projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment light attribute skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness ability to see the potential in everything okay your person might be a little bit like single track minded when they focus on something they just want to do it they 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 might love running a marathon and then here that's kind of like that is that's is their focus that's what they're going to do um but here what i feel is that they are actually you're their purpose at this point in time and they're very very de devoted to it you 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 are almost like their, their their spiritual gift um so they could be a little bit over the top dedicated um a little bit of kind of like um uh, maybe slight controlling vibes coming through and or um just like you know they just might not they you know once they've got something in their head they kind of believe that perhaps by osmosis that you agree with them and they might not share that with you um so they absolutely they absolutely adore you 
um, they might just kind of take over a little bit, um, maybe not always see your perspective. So that's that shadow attribute here. But they're very, very devoted to you. And, and like they're very devoted to wanting to make sure that things are amazing between you. Um, and that's definitely that's really what they're focused on, being a better version of themselves, no matter what area or aspect of their life. OK, so what else is going on for them? So we have got the two of ones. We have got the five of pentacles. We have got the nine of swords. OK, and we have got the seven of cups. All right. So we're getting under the skin a little bit now of some of this kind of energy that they have got. They are they are really interested in setting some goals to make sure that they're financially stable. Um, that's something that they worry about here with the nine of ones. They do worry about being ready and they actually worry that you may think of them as just being a choice so they are worried that you might have other choices and that if they don't have themselves prepared enough for you um this person is a perfectionist and they're always going to be a perfectionist so even if we, you're with them they they worry about being good enough for you um so this drives them to work harder this drives them to be kind of very devoted to this um need to need to to be, to achieve, to to continue to make room for you, to continue to look after your your material needs. Um, so, but this person actually has a little bit of underlying um, self worth. Like what drives them forward is this need for perfection, and it can sometimes lead to them being a little bit in in, in I want to say impervious. Um, not necessarily understanding what you want and what you need, because it's all about them just wanting to deliver for you based on what they think they need to deliver for you. Um, and that includes being financially certain. And that includes also um, always making sure that you have lots of choices around them so that you don't find choices elsewhere. OK, so this person absolutely adores you. They're a bit over and perhaps even over devoted to you, but you might love that. So, um, you know, that that's that's. Um, I'm just reading the energy that's there. Okay, what goes on this person's head? Pray. And we have got love. All right. And we have got here, what goes on in this person's head? So I'm pile number two's person's head. We've got those four actually want to come out. So what goes on in pile number four's head? The tower and the two of cups. And we have got the eight of cups and the page of swords. Yeah, this, this what goes on in this person's head is they oscillate. I mean, they 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 they've got a lot of emotional depth, a lot of emotional depth, um, but sometimes they have to free themselves from their, the fear of their thoughts. So their thoughts are um, their thoughts are sometimes quite overwhelming for them, and they know they kind of know that they have to transform their feelings of fear and just let go of some of their concerns that perhaps you don't love them uh, or perhaps that you you may not choose them or if they're going to um, ask you to move in, they're praying that you, the love that you have together will, will, will like catalyze you to become even more close. Like they, they really see that. I mean, two of cups is the ultimate soulmate. They see you as their soulmate. We've got love here. We've got soulmate, but they do have to let go of some of their fears. They are working on just releasing almost like a clinginess um, to, a clinginess to the desire and need to have this relationship. So it's a need. They have a need to be with you, um, not just a desire. So there is a bit of need going on in here. Um, and they're quite um they're quite um I think they're in a little bit of denial about how how much that need kind of drives them to do things. Okay, so what's going on for them at a soul level? So that's at their mind, messages of love. Wow. Oh my goodness, this person is so into you, part number two. Okay, messages of love and love. Oh my goodness. All right, this person, yeah, soulmate. This person is just deeply, deeply, deeply into you, like big time. Okay, um, they're very emotional, but that might come out as being very action oriented, but they're very emotional. So they kind of do things to hide their emotions by just trying to deliver. We have got here the two of swords. We have got the hanged man and we have got the three of cups. Wow. So at a soul level, 
this person's soul is trying to get them to be a little bit more patient to um to to come into balance a little bit more to get a bit of bit of perspective in life to um they 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 want to keep everyone away they they just want to be the two of you and and no one else you know in their ideal world like life would just be about you two and they could just share and feel and flow love so at a soul level that it's just like you're absolutely everything to them and if somebody else comes along it's just like well don't interfere in our space i just want to be with pile number um to be with pile number two they're very obsessed by you they're very obsessed by their love for you and they're very they're just wanting to they're wanting to be able to tell you that they may not actually be able to voice it. So they might be a bit obsessed about how to actually tell you that to try to get a perspective where they could actually come along. I'm getting here marriage vibes as well. Like it's like they want to have you like standing in front of the altar with somebody or whatever your you know, altar, whatever your equivalent is um, uh, in terms of uh, what's the right word, your ceremony, a ceremony, a ceremony with you that is overseen by somebody. And they're hoping that you would choose them. If they give you this message of love, they're really, really hoping that you would choose them. OK, so what does this person uh, love doing? Kind of some passions that they have um, just in general. Uh, maybe passions that aren't you, but I suspect they're all about you. <laughs> you are their passion. OK, we have got here reflection, healing, transformation. And we have got nurturance, restore your balance. So this person might be very passionate about wellness. Um, they might be very passionate about meditation. Um, this person may be very, um, just very passionate about, um, yeah, spending time together, spending time in nature. Um, okay, the devil, ego. And we have got here the king of wands. And we have got the here front. Yeah, this person is very passionate about wellness, about understanding the 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 balance of the ego mind and um, wanting to lead people to have a more rewarding and happy life. Um, this person would love to be a spiritual guru. Maybe that's something that they're doing at this point in time. But they kind of they know that actually they have quite a lot of fears that maybe um, hold them back, or perhaps they have some fears that they would. Um, they're not yet ready to lead people in that kind of self mastery journey, but they have dreams of being um, someone who could really help people heal, help people go through their own transformational processes. Um, I'm just going to pause because the window's open. I don't know if you can hear a train going by, but it's a wee bit noisy. Yeah, this person wants to help people get on track. Um, that's it's really it's a real it's a real big deal for them to help other people nurture themselves and restore their balance and overcome their fears um to be a thought leader so that's something that this person um really really dreams of being um well just loves doing actually that's what it's something that really really tops them up is to help other people to find balance and healing and restore re restoration internally finding their higher self making making their purpose making helping other people make their purpose their higher self okay what does this person dream of acceptance the cycle of life and we have got life purpose, manifest your dreams. Lovely. Okay. This person's actually like this person's a really good person. File number two. Um they're they're really, really good. They're 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 a beautiful soul. Okay, we have got the six of pentacles, we have got the four of swords, and we have got the hermit. Okay, this person dreams of um this person dreams of having a life purpose that is 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 really really successfully fin successful financially, to help people understand who they are at a deep level, and um, to help people through self love and recovery, to help people to come out of solitude. So the the four and the hermit here are both cards of solitude. Um, so this person dreams, and so, well, two things. This person dreams of helping people to be successful who are perhaps um, people who are isolated, people who have, um, you know, who feel different, who feel cut off from the world. And this person feels very topped up by you because they may be very different to the normal kind of person. And and yet you get them, you vibe with them, and you you allow them to be very true to themselves. So they they feel very accepted by you and 
and they might have some characteristics that most people like don't describe as normal for example so they they have perhaps tried struggled to fit in with their world in the past and you make them able to fit in and so they've done a lot of self-healing and recovery of who they are because of you in their life so that's something they want to they dream of helping other people but they dream also i think of being very successful in doing that so that you can then both go and hang out in the world together and just just hang out in your own self-love together as well um so this person kind of feels like they want to magic a like a future sooner rather than later that is built on helping other people but then by helping other people they they can kind of withdraw from the world with you and go and do your own things go on your own adventures together um okay so that's what they dream of so uh what so what are their um what are their thoughts about the connection at this point in time um or their intentions balance and actually those three want to come out in fact we've got four that want to come out so what are their thoughts around this connection we have got here oops balance work life even ground soulmate wow yeah strong connection romance friendship social media following watching stories posting and friendship time with friends have fun support wow this person i mean this person just they feel so balanced they that you are basically soul they are you are their soulmate um maybe you met online on on online dating maybe one or two of you, maybe either of you have a social media account and they just absolutely love what you do they 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 love how you interact with the world um they love watching the same things perhaps you watch videos together and you just have an absolute laugh um and they just feel like you're their ultimate not just a friend not just a soulmate but that you're you're their friend you're their best friend um this is beautiful energy okay so anything else about how they feel about you or about this connection anything else that is going on for them we have got here the ace of pentacles wow we have got the justice card and we have got the judgment card that oh, this is so strong this is so beautiful they feel like you're, that you're just a gift a gift from mother earth and um you've brought balance and harmony into into their life and you've really helped them with a lot of their awakening as well so they're very very tuned into you um very very tuned into you very very grateful for who you are in their life okay what are their intentions towards you this is such a lovely reading. <laughs> what are their intentions towards you? For pile number, for pile number two, what are their person's intentions towards them? We have got here, mountains and obstacles. I'm really drawn to the fact that it was upside down. Succulence and resilience. I don't often read upside down, but sometimes it's just immediately obvious that it needs to be. And we have got here the four of wands. We have got the moon. We have got the sun. Oh, my goodness. And we have got the five of cups. This person wants to have long term stability with you. You are the sun, the moon, the, sh the, the they, they would be completely lost without you. So what are their intentions towards you? To secure you in whatever way possible, to overcome any obstacle that is in the way of you having a long-term stability together. Um, they want to build resilience between you, that you are just, um, it, even even conflict would nourish you both. They, 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 they just want to nourish the relationship here with the succulents, you know, they draw they, anything that they can draw moisture out of the earth and nourish this relationship. They want we're here with the four of wands to, to celebrate life with you, to have long term stability, to marry you if that is something that is interesting to you and you're not already married. Um, they just they just want to dive into the mystery of life, to have so much joy, and to and to not worry about anything that isn't there. To just focus on what is all life all about um they couldn't imagine life without you it would just be like it would be it would be the biggest disappointment and sadness and loss they could ever experience if they if they weren't able to overcome any obstacle that's in the way of um having having the ultimate beautiful long-term relationship with you um 
Okay, so we're going to get some messages from your angel. So this is going to be from your guardian angel and from their guardian angel. I'm going to put either side here. So um, something from your guardian angel for you. We have got light. You are a you are a light to this person. Um, I'm getting here a little bit of just um, allowing your own light to shine as well. Like what, what makes this person so really, really in tune with you is because you allow your own light to shine. So the message I'm getting through here is just keep that light shining um, because that is what is attracting them to you. So keep so keep your independence because I feel sometimes that this person might have the tendency to be, to be a little bit smothering and controlling, but what they really want to do is provide for you because they love you so much, um, but they love your inner light. So never let your inner light um, be over, like um, kind of, what's the right word? Not smothered, over, uh, uh, kind of over empowered by theirs if that makes sense. That's kind of the message from your guardian angels. And then from there, guardian angel, what's going on for them? We've got positive intention. Yeah, <laughs> they really, they really, they're going to come to you with gifts. They're going to offer you something. They have a real, like, this is, this is beautiful. Oh my God, this is so lovely. Anything else from your guardian angel for you? Advice for you, pile number two. Advice for you. We have got here the chariot. And we have got strength and we have got the four of pentacles and we have got the seven of swords. So the advice from your angels is just to keep moving yourself forward. Things are going to happen at speed for you. Hold the line, be strong. Um, just look after your own, look after your own sense of self here. Um, don't worry about what anyone else thinks. It's all about focusing on you. Don't worry about it if you're if you're worried about anything, what people say, money, security, feeling that you're good enough for this person, like just don't worry about it at all. They, they, just be strong, keep yourself moving forward. And um, and this person is coming to you in whatever way they, they is, is, is right for them. They're preparing themselves to offer you something. Um, yeah, like, it, like they, might, they might come in with a gift of a, of a puppy, for example. Okay, and then, or a cat, or a kitten, whatever, whatever, or a horse, even. <laughs> okay, and um, so then some final advice um, and uh, just some uh, support from your guardian angel for you and for them. For you, we have got here to have and to hold. Oh, my goodness. Okay, healthy relationships are formed through love rather than through need. It's such a human be thing to hold on to others through fear and insecurity, but this dynamic can stifle a relationship's potential to flourish and actually push someone away. Give your relationship the freedom it needs to form a healthy foundation of trust. Yeah, that is something I'm 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 definitely picking up on here, which is just to carry on being sovereign to yourself. Um, advice for them take time out give yourself permission to stop sometimes you just need to slow down and rest up and yet so often we keep on pushing and pushing even though that there are clear signs that we should stop taking time out now will allow you to replenish your energy and return revitalized with an abundance of focused energy yeah that's great advice for this person i feel they're quite intense <laughs> all right then when they set their mind to something they're just going to go for it it's just like full on full on let's go and have fun i'm going to prepare myself i want to be a better person for you i'm going to work on my visions i'm going to i'm going to power on I'm going to grab my creativity. I'm just going to I'm going to sort out this part of the house. I'm going to make room for you. I'm going to find find a pet that we can jump. But it's just like oh, oh wow. Okay, so I think this is a beautiful beautiful relationship. I think there's a there's a bit of a muddying of whose energy starts and stops where, um, and like just being really um, strong and understanding about yourself or really just this is just going to come together and it's going to go to better and better and better and more and more be beautiful places. So pile number two, that was a beautiful reading. I really hope this helps you understand your person in more detail and um, all the best with this. It sounds like it's going to be an amazing adventure going forwards, obviously, if that's what's something that you want. Okay, take care. Bye. Hey, pile number three, welcome to your reading. You chose the cat tarot and this beautiful pink rose. So we are going to be getting to a lot of information about your person, what's going on for them at this point in time. 
And then we will be moving on to how they're feeling about you and this connection and what their intentions are as well. So we're going to start by just getting energies for each of their chakras and just understanding what's flowing for them. So we've got watch around their root chakra energy. We have got magic around their sacral chakra energy. Oh, he's a, slipping everywhere. So lots of energy flowing and sliding about for them. Journey around their solar plexus chakra energy. We have got duality around their relationship heart energy. So the two heart energies here is relationship and purpose. We have got here around their purpose heart energy. Purpose, wow. <laughs> okay, around their throat chakra energy, we have got health. Around their third eye chakra energy, we have got, gosh, these are for some reason quite um slippy these cards they're not normally like this i mean they're slippy anyway but there's a lot moving there's a lot of moving parts community for third eye and catalyst for uh um crown chakra energy this person your person on your mind pile number three is going through a bit of an awakening process they are, they perhaps haven't actually been in best of health here. And so they've had some health concerns that they need to vo voice and they have really been working on their health. They might have been working on their physical health that has then been a bit of a catalyst for them opening up their spiritual health. Or they've had a bit of an awakening, perhaps a healing session, for example, here that has been a bit of a catalyst for them to focus on their focus on their physical health. So it's like there's a physical and spiritual interaction going on in here. And it, and it feels that like they're not paying a huge amount of attention to their material world at this point in time. They're on a bit of a journey into self-worth. So in order to have a, a, I think I think they want a better relationship. Um, and I feel that they're really understanding that a relationship is a partnership here with duality. And they're also understanding that a relationship is not just a partnership with another person, but it's about having a better partnership with themselves. So it's very, it's a healthy, they're having healthy conversations about who are they? What do they want? What, do, what is their purpose doing more in the world to help other people, um, and really going within to find their self-worth, to find the magic around their creation. They've got some kind of vision that they feel would be really, really helpful for other people. Um, I just feel that they're, they're kind of like, I don't feel that they're very grounded at this point in time. There's a little bit of resonance coming through with pile number one here. Um, you may or may not have vibed with pile number one as well, but there was something quite similar. I won't say any more because you may not be drawn to it, but there was something quite similar going on. Not the same energy, but something similar. So there's kind of some kind of awakening process going on for your person. I don't think it's an extreme. The other person, the pile one was very ungrounded. So I think your person is slightly more grounded. Um because I think they've actually got something in mind, some kind of purpose in mind that would help other people. Perhaps they've discovered energy healing and they're kind of like, wow, this is amazing. I actually need to do something with this. Um, but it's helping them understand relationships better. So, so I feel this person is kind of making space energetically to really understand what it was like to go on a journey with someone else, to be a, to be a better partner, to be a, to be a good partner, um, and I feel that they're working on themselves, but they've had to they've had to work on they've had to work on their health, spiritual and or physical health. In fact, both physical and spiritual health. And that's opened them up to a, a community, a whole new world of of energy, actually. Um maybe not spirituality, but definitely energy. Okay, so let's get some more information about your person. Let's find out about them. Angel, huh? Yeah, light attribute, helping those in the in need with no expectation of return. Yeah, okay. And we have got hermit, but we've got the shadow attribute. So hermit seeks solitude to focus intently on inner life, serves creative personal creativity. But we came up with a shadow attribute, withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgment of others, refusing to help those in need. I feel that your person is actually a bit of an earth angel and they want to help people who are downtrodden. And I think they've found a new, like a new lease of life, a new purpose 
that is around something about helping people heal, healing communities, um, catalyzing like um, people to feel better about themselves by talking about energy, not necessarily spirituality, as I said, by energy. They've discovered something. Perhaps they've really discovered the law of attraction. Um, okay, so what else is going on for them? We have got the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the King of Wands. We have got the Emperor. We have got the Lovers. Okay, and we have got the Hierophant. Yeah, this person is, is really, they're stepping into their power um, in a very big way. Um they're discovering a new found sense of purpose for themselves. They've, they've discovered a new sense of patience. Um, they're very patient with how to build something around this new new purpose. I think they they don't really have any time for people who who don't want to have fun anymore. They want to they want to love life. They definitely they definitely love being around you. Um, they want to be a good leader though. That's they want to be a very good leader. They want to be a good. They want to be. A, Ah, they want to be a pillar of society. They want they they want to show people how leadership should be, and um and help people not fear bad leadership. That's it's something that's very passionate for this person. It's very it's very very important for this person to help other people to make good choices around relationships, around around life purpose. Um, and also I think they're very they're very interested in helping. Um, restore fairness to the world to 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 help people to find personal personal security um and and confidence this person's a confidence giver i don't necessarily think they've always been like that <laughs> i think this is something that they've discovered and they've discovered it because of something that's happened to them they, they might have had some kind of health issues they might have been um yeah, they've had to heal. They've had to heal something, but I feel like it's physical. Like there's some, there's something's happened to them. Maybe mental health. Maybe they had burnout, um, and they found they found the magic in life. There's something about them that's not quite grounded yet, though. Okay, so what's going on in this person's mind? We've got divine timing, and we have got prey. We have got the King of Swords. We have got the Ten of Swords. Well, Ten of Swords and then King of Swords. It came out in that order. And we have got the Star. Your person, I think, probably spends quite a lot of time in meditation or in contemplation. Um, they are... They, they're they're learning thought mastery they're learning to um just process and let go of things in their life that did like that didn't work out for them so they're being a very objective about it and um, they're very, being very objective about what lights them up they're being very objective about um gearing themselves up to i feel like they're gearing themselves up to do something that is going to really help others overcome their fears of being themselves. And they've got lots and lots of ideas about this and they're really contemplating those ideas. They really want to be a guiding light for other people, um, but they're taking their time. They're being very patient here. We've got the, with the seven of pentacles and then divine timing on top of that. I just, they're, 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 they're quite patient. They're not rushing into anything. They're not rushing into saying, Oh, I've got to do this. or I've got to do that. They're just, they're really, really thinking through um everything that's happened to them and everything that they've experienced recovery finding balance for who they are what they want um and how to help other people how to help other people feeling that they don't have to like just pray for something to become along that helps the world be a better place they want to actually they want to actually make people believe that it's going to happen anyway so this is a really beautiful person, pile number two. They're very, they're very, very thoughtful. They're very, they're very caring. They're very, they're very generous with their time to other people, um, to helping the world. Um, being a good citizen is really important to them. Okay, so what's going on in their soul? We have got repression. Yeah. It's like they want to overcome repression. They want to stop people from being repressed and find balance and burden of tears. This person's a natural healer.
we have got the Page of Cups, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, and we have got the Four of Cups. Yeah, this what's in the soul, the soul of your person is they 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 want to i mean if they could they would heal everybody they would they would they would help everybody from um finding ways to overcome sadness and loss and disappointment and have more fun have more happy emotional experiences if they could they would wipe the tears of everybody in this in this in this earth um remove repression in their soul in their soul, they want humanity to be happier, to be more, to be more flowing, to be more allowing for everybody to have the opportunity to experience um, more, more joy and less sorrow and sadness, and um, more fun, more, more freedom, and and less oppression. So that's in their soul. So they've got a big soul mission, actually. They really with this angel, like it's like they're an earth angel. They've got a really big soul mission here to. Um, to remove fear and negativity from the world, to stop people having to withdraw and like protect themselves so much. Okay, what does this person love about life? Uh, we'll come on to you in a minute. <laughs> so what does this person love? Or maybe that you will come out in this. Um, we have got here, ignite, release your potential. And we've got creativity, seize the day. And we have got one and two and three what does this person love rebirth death rebirth card page of pentacles and we've got the king of cups this person loves seeing people transform their lives um this is this is this such a generous giving person pile number three um so i appreciate this is all about them but just to understand them at a very very deep level um so you may see some of this, you may not. They're, they're on a journey into a soul purpose at this point in time, or they're on a soul purpose. They are really wanting to help people release their potential, understand their creativity, transform how they feel about themselves, and become emotionally available, um, study, find opportunities. They, 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 they're, they're, they love seeing people flourish, and they love helping people feel in tune with their own ability to be themselves okay what does your person dream about what does your person dream of what does pile number three's person dream of we have got here letting go emotional release and forgiveness compassion and kindness okay Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, wow. And we have got the six, the five, six of six of wands. Okay, we're now getting more into you. I feel like your energy is starting to come in here, whereas before we've got this incredible sense of this very expanded person who wants to do good in the world. Um, you maybe are slightly at odds with them here. We've got forgiveness. They they love your compassion. Um, some here, we've got this, this kind of giving birth. Maybe you share a child together. Maybe you're actually pregnant at this point in time. Um, and they just want to, if you're a woman, obviously, um, they just want to hold you and nurture you and look after you and provide for you. Um, they just want to be successful for you. Um, what they dream of is just having a very successful, loving, loving partnership um, where no matter what happens, there's always kiss and make up or there's just always forgiveness. There's always compassion flowing between you. Um, they also dream of one day being able to let go of their purpose and just sit by a log fire, enjoying the little things in life um just like just playing and having fun they kind of dream about that but they also have this purpose that they kind of need to, to to deliver so this kind of duality that's going on in here which is they have two they almost like have two relationships here that are really important to them there's a relationship with you and then there's a relationship with the rest of humanity who they have a purpose to serve and help heal and, and, and have a better life experience with. So I think what they dream of is just 
fulfilling their purpose in a way that is what they kind of set out and and really kind of came here for so that they can have time to spend time with you yeah it's like it's like yeah there's like two it's like this there's this two relationships one is to just hang out with you and the other one is to deliver help to the help to the to humanity um and they want to be successful in both it's really really important for them and it's important for them to know you them to know that you are as much a part of their dream as as helping humanity as a part of their dream so you may not know this person yet or you may know them and you may not have experienced much from them but we're now going to get more specifics about this connection with them and you so what is going on for your person with this connection we have got here timing divine timing patience anxiety stress worry overthinking Crossroads, choices, different options, lessons, learn from the past, ending toxic cycles, past life lessons. So for what I'm getting for some of you is you're not actually yet with this person, um, but they are anxious that you might not choose them. And they are, um, they're, they're understanding their patterns. I think they understand who they are quite clearly. I think they've had to go and understand some of their patterns about life. They don't want a relationship where somebody doesn't understand their life purpose as well as them. Um, perhaps some of their health issues were caused by a, a challenging relationship that had gone wrong in the past or like a work relationship that didn't work for them because I kind of got some green energy going on in here, which could be about which could be about um, work. So they might have had a, a toxic pattern around just showing up for work more than they did for a relationship before in the past. So, so they, so they really want to make sure if you're already with them, that they really want to make sure that they spend quality time with you and with their purpose, that you don't have any anxieties, that you are not like at, at odds with them and, and um, that they want cooperation and harmony, but they also really want to make sure that you are understanding of the, of the purpose, the life path that actually brought them to this earth, which is about helping humans have a better experience too. So, so they're very, very mindful about trying to juggle all of that and being able to be, um, to have to have healthy communication around their need to support a community as well as to, and to help other people to journey towards the the, the center and the magic of their soul and creativity, as well as to have a really good relationship with you, and. And just there's something that's still just that there's something quite not grounded yet. So let's just get some more information about um, what is on their mind about this relationship or how they're viewing this relationship. What else have we got here? Um, maybe they're not ready for the relationship yet, or they're just finishing off some patterns. We've got the Knight of Swords. We have got the Six of pentacles we have got the ace of wands and we have got the ten of pentacles okay they are very much you know they're very much wanting to either offer you something they're wanting to share like their passion for life with you they want success in this um they want to they want to they really want to have like here with the ten of pentacles they want to have it all with you and if they haven't made a move towards you, then they are summoning up the courage to, to make a move towards you. Um, if you're already with this person, then um, they are, they're very focused on trying to balance like their, their kind of like work success and their happy ever after like home success as well. Um, and so they're, they're very, they're very working very intently on thoughts and, like the, the ambition they've got an ambition to succeed in all aspects of their life including with you um, and so if you just know this person know that you're they're definitely featuring you in their plans if you're about to meet them then they're preparing themselves to be with you um, but they are very much ten of pentacles here they're thinking you know this is the ultimate reward the ultimate happy family Okay, so what are their intentions towards you, pile number three? 
we have got here rainbow and hope and we have got labyrinth and journey so their intentions pile number three is person's intentions towards pile number three we have got here the hanged man we have got the five of swords and we have got the nine of swords okay this person is 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 really hoping that you'll go on the journey of life with them they are i've got kev here some if some of you this might be somebody called kev kevin so these initials might be important to you for some of you i'm just going to hold them up here we've got k c b e v r nine and two so this person like they see life as a bit of a puzzle um they would love to they'd love to take you on that puzzle perhaps they feel that you're a little bit of a puzzle and they're not sure they're not 100 percent sure if you see life in the same way or you see them in the way that they see you and and so they're hoping and that and they are a little bit afraid they are a little bit that there's some indecision going on in here and some worry about whether you would be it's almost like there's two hangmen here <laughs> although this is the nine of swords which is a bit of a bit of worry so this person is worried about what your perspective is about them and would you be prepared to go on this kind of like kind of almost like quite crazy journey of life that is about spreading hope and love um or would you be happy to have children with them and have a fridge full of fridge magnets? So they really hope that you have the same perspective of this relationship as you do. But in terms of intentions, um, they're being patient. They're being patient to wait for the right opportunity. Um, they see life as a journey. They see they've got a lot of patience. They're they're very being very patient with you. They're hoping that you will show some kind of sign to them like maybe here with a rainbow, maybe leave them, leaving them a message on their fridge. Maybe they love having little messages from you. Maybe they intend to leave you messages. Maybe you leave messages. But this person very feels very, very settled with you and they really hope that you are interested in being part of their future because with the Ten of Pentacles here, they absolutely see that as being something that they would love. Um, they might not be ready to communicate that to you yet here. If they're kind of like finding their voice, recovering their voice somehow, um, uh, ready to bring in they're watching that's what this is going on in here they're watching for the opportunity to bring this into like to ground to ground this relationship into reality or to talk to you about these long-term visions if you're already in a relationship they're just watching for the opportunity to talk to you about all of this kind of aspect of their lives what they who they are and what they are and what they want um and once they've found that opportunity it'll be like the, a, a door suddenly open to being able to express themselves in a way that is like to talk about the journey to the soul that they have and how much they want you to be part of that journey we've got journey coming through twice they they really feel that life is a journey that is about living with you and with this big purpose that they have okay they're very beautiful there's a person who's got a beautiful soul a really 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 lovely energy um sometimes you may feel a bit left out but it's not that it's just that they have this purpose and they'd love you to be part of that journey with them okay so a message from your guardian angel and from their guardian angel we have got here your guardian angel says light um so hold your hold the vision of you right just just shine in your own light because that that they they love sitting around perhaps they love sitting around a campfire with you they just you light up their life and from their guardian angel we have got application wow okay so that actually came out in pile number one and this came out in pile number two different readings for pile number two but pile number one in fact actually you know what i'll just flow with it if you draw them drawn to more than one pile today it does feel like there's some lovely flowing energy going on here so they need to apply their knowledge and ground into reality like all of their knowledge that they're receiving the downloads that they're receiving how to do something with it some of them might be wanting to write a book um and it's like you hold they hold a flame for you that really keeps them moving and progressing and so your angel is just saying hold the light of you 
and and that is all that you need to do in this in this situation don't stress be patient this person's patient um allow them to be allow you to be we've got the magician we've got the ace of cups we've got the king of pentacles and we've got the hermit beautiful okay this person if they're in isolation because we have got the hermit we've got the hermit upside down here as well if this person feels like they're a bit isolated and they're writing a book they're coming out of isolation they're going to bring you an offer and your guardian angels are saying just focus on the light of you and you will magic that an offer to you from them um they are and you'll help them bring back like they've got this determination to ground into reality something around everything you and their purpose and the more that you shine a light and hold your own inner light for you about you then the quicker they can ground into reality everything including an offer coming out of hermit mode bringing an offer to you and um and just like you're gonna feel like this is a magical connection they feel magic with you the angels are saying hold your own inner magic um hold your own inner guidance, hold your own inner power, because this is what's helping this person to really feel able to go on this journey of, of soul level purpose. Okay, so last couple of cards of um, support or advice or understanding, one for you and one for your person. For you, we have got here, walk away. Walk away from this situation. When we face a challenging or unhealthy situation, it can be hard to let go and move on. Sometimes we stay in the hope that someone else will change or perhaps there are so there we are so fearful of the unknown that we remain in the safety of a known and yet toxic situation. This card validates your entitlement to leave. Okay, if you are waiting for this person to come out of hermit mode and you feel like they, they're never going to, don't feel that you have to hang around for them i think that's what your angels are saying that you could magic someone else in if you want to um you could magic someone else into your life at the drop of a hat when you start really shining a light on yourself um or the other thing is walk away from fear that they're not going to be or offer to you what you want um that's the other thing that's coming through and for them we've got nurture Wherever we sow the seeds, however much we yearn to see them grow, we cannot force them to develop any quicker than nature will allow. But we can provide them with the best possible conditions to grow. Whatever you have initiated in your life, this card is here to encourage you. Be patient and nurture your relationships, ideas, projects with love. Yeah, this person is is and they're nurturing their health, they're nurturing their healing, they're nurturing, they want to nurture the world. They will kind of want to work, nurture everybody. Um and you are an important aspect of that pile number three. But if you feel that you will need more than somebody who has a purpose that is perhaps feels at times that it's more important to you, but it's definitely as important to this person as all relation. Like they have this relationship with the world and they have this relationship with you. Um, if you feel that that's not enough for you, then, you know, you have have free will. And perhaps that is something maybe you're thinking about. I'm just going to get one more card for that temperance balance. Yeah. Okay. So just to keep a balanced perspective at all times about what is right for you. Um, and hopefully this helps you give a real depth of understanding about your person, where they're at, who they are. They are an earth angel. They do have some kind of big mission. And, and I absolutely am sure if you chose to be with them and they're hoping that you would journey, go on a journey with them and they fear that you wouldn't, um, and if you chose to, I'm sure they would very much invest in you too. Um, but I think it's really important with this, not but, and I think it's really important for you with this to understand how big a mission they have as well. And maybe that would help you work out. Perhaps you could help them with that and and be part of that with them. Okay, pile number three. I really, really hope that helps. I'm going to leave it there. And um, thank you so much for being here. Take care. Bye. Okay, hey, pile number four, welcome to your reading. You chose the Angel Dogs Tarot here and this lovely blue rose. So we are going to go for a deep dive look into what is going on for your person right now. And then we'll be looking at how they are viewing your connection and any intentions that they have towards you as well. So we're going to start with a lot of information about them so that you can get a real deep understanding about what's going on for them. So we're going to start with some energies around their chakras. So around their root chakra, we have got calm. Solar plexus, we have got 
uh, sorry, sacral chakra, we've got catering. And around the solar plexus chakra, oops, we have got here, media. Around their relationship heart energy. So we've got pink for relationship heart and green for purpose. We have got replete. Around their purpose heart energy, we have got entertainment. Around their throat chakra energy, we have got flowing. Around their third eye chakra energy, we have got kind. And around their crown chakra energy, we have got bounce. That's a very interesting set of cards. <laughs> there's a lot of um, there's a lot of kind of pastel energy going on in their they're sort of like the lower half of their chakras, which feels that their their kind of material world feels reasonably steady. They are they're pretty calm about where they are in terms of their material world grounded energy. So they might be pretty calm around finances, around their house, their home, their family. The energy is reasonably calm. It not, might not be perfect for them, but it's pretty calm. That is not causing them too much disturbance. They are able to spend some time really thinking and voicing to themselves about their creativity, about their passions. They are here with self-worth and media, perhaps this is somebody who's in the media, perhaps they have a profile, um, somebody who actually has like a position of authority or or they're just um they're they're visible in their environment. And so I think they're comfortable with that. They're comfortable with who they are in in the world, in the environment that they live in. And here in terms of relationships, it feels that they are they're happy with where they're at in terms of relationships. I'm not yet getting the energy of whether that involves you or not, pile number four. So maybe, maybe you're maybe you're watching for somebody who you're not with. This is interesting. There's a lot of shifts going on for them. There's a lot of shifts going on for them around their purpose. The environment around their work is is powerful um they are perhaps somebody who speaks a lot perhaps they speak about the environment and we've got this root chakra energy this red energy so something is really really grounding into reality around their voice perhaps they are perhaps there's somebody who speaks a lot like they use their voice to flow their energy through their material world like to to create money for example i think they're becoming a kind of version of themselves they're seeing how much kindness is important in this world and then we've got this the strongest energy of all is around their their crown chakra and bounce it's like they're being bounced between their spirituality and their material world so there's some kind of bouncing there's some there's something really, really impacting their their, their spiritual self. And maybe because they're kind of calm around their, their lower chakra, there's something really, really strong happening for them on an energetic basis. Fascinating. Okay, let us see. This is the, this is the, I'm not saying weird isn't the right word, but, um, intriguing energies going on for your person around their energy body okay so tarot we have got here the emperor the two of swords the four of pentacles the ace of pentacles and the page of pentacles this this person's focused on money at this point in time they're making a lot of choices about um uh finding security so although they have a calmness around their material world they are very they are worried about money 
And I think perhaps they're a little bit blindfolded to other things that they can do. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles are both about opportunities. I think they're really looking to find opportunities to make sure that they don't have any money worries and, and or not, almost nothing else is really a choice for them at this point in time. Okay, so we've got some shadow and light attributes here. We have got child orphan, light attributes, independence based on learning to go it alone, conquering fear of surviving. Shadow attributes, feeling of abandonment that stifle maturation, seeking inappropriate surrogate families. So I felt kind of drawn to turn these cards upside up right. So I think this person is working on... Um, yeah, overcoming the fears of survival. And I think they're making progress. I really, I really think that that is very, it is definitely making progress for them. This is really fascinating. I keep getting drawn back. My eye keeps getting drawn back to this. Something's shifting for them. Something's shifting for them. So they've been working on really like just controlling and owning and um, flowing money. Um, perhaps they have um, needed to satisfy some previous relationships with this replete. They've they've had some, they've had some. Um, they've had some energy that they've had to calm down. They've had to cater to other people. They have perhaps had other people spying on what they've been doing, on their sense of self, and they've had to really lay to rest previous relationships to come to terms with themselves, to, 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 to be replete in who they are actually here as well with this, this child orphan light attribute. Like they've perhaps had this disruptive, they've had perhaps other people have kind of disrupted their, their material world quite substantially. And they've just, they've had to work out a pattern here and put and lay to rest their patterns, but it's left them feeling a little bit insecure financially. King, oh, you know what? I, I, I almost, no, not even almost. I kind of just had a feeling that this card would come out. King, light attributes, enlightened, benevolent leadership, benefiting those in your charge. Shadow attributes, excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. Right next to bounce. This person has had a few, they've had a few bounces. They've had a few things they've had to recover from to bounce back from. Um. Yeah, this person has had a few things that they've had to bounce back from. And part of that is is they perhaps used to give a lot of attention to their kind of material world and not enough attention to feeling and sensing and intuiting the energy, the environment. Um, and now it feels like everything's kind of switched over, but they're still not feeling financially stable. Um, perhaps here with child orphan, they have children that they need to take care of. So a lot about creating opportunities financially for themselves, um, and a lot about a lot about how they how they lead. I think this person is a leader. How they lead, well, they are with the emperor energy. Okay, so what's going on in your person's head? What is what is what are the, what's in their what's on their mind at this point in time? Clear your energy. Ask for guidance. And we have got here, the Magician, the Tower, and the Knight of Wands. I'm getting the words that this person is quite capable of looking before they leap and they I, I feel like they're learning how to use their energy in a way that is um, looking before they leap as opposed to leaping before they look. I think this person just kind of like like goes for it. It's like just clear the way with this energy, clear the way, clear the way, go for it. But what's going on in their head is, is self-mastery and, and – working out how to not make life suddenly happen to them, like to get to get control over who they are, what their energy is, how they show up, how to use it to go forward in a way that is um, going to work for them. I feel like they're very, very courageous. They're very daring. They're very ambitious. 
Um, they're very strong. We've got the king here. We've got the emperor. They're very, very strong, but not everything seems to work out for them. Maybe they were an orphan. Like maybe, maybe they were adopted by other people, for example, and, and they do have some abandonment issues, but they're trying to clear out the patterns that they have um, so that life doesn't happen to them. And asking for guidance, I, I feel perhaps they're really tuning in here with this bouncing around around their crown chakra energy. They're, they're, they're seeking new ways of being. They're seeking their spiritual self. Tuning into their environment in a different way. Okay, what's going on in this person's soul? Mirror effect and guide. We've got ask for guidance and guide right next to each other. Mirror effect. Clear your energy. This person is starting to understand energy. I think they're starting to understand who they are in the mirror. I think I really feel like this person's got good intentions. They perhaps want to be a guide, a guiding soul. Um, but I feel that they I feel they're in this process of understanding themselves, how to make life flow a little bit better instead of bouncing around. It's like they want life to flow, but it feels like it's coming in fits and starts and tower moments keep happening to, happening to them. But this person is an inherently a kind person. Inherently, they're a karma a person, but somehow it feels that they are, with this bounce, like it, that's what they want, but it isn't always how things happen for them. So we've got the Ace of Swords, we've got the Seven of Wands, and we've got the, the Fool. Okay, so in their soul, um, they're really seeking clarity. They're really seeking... Um, they're being very self-protective. I feel like they've been guiding themselves through some kind of understanding and journey of who they are, and they're they are ready to take a fresh start. They're ready to take a they're ready to take everything that they know and do something with it. To take a leap of faith to move forward. Perhaps they've been in kind of like self protection for a period of time, um, maybe keeping people away, maybe keeping you know they didn't need a relationship. They've been quite happy as how they are, or they've been happy with the circumstances as 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 what they are, but they do want a different. They are. They are coming out of a phase of being very self-protective as they, they've learned who they are. Who are they in the mirror? Um, perhaps they've been seeking guidance. Perhaps they've been getting counselling. Perhaps they've been um, just got tuning in to, to the guidance of source energy. Things have been bouncing into them from, from the universe. They may not realise that. But they are getting a lot of clarity about who they are. And they're, they're, they're kind of learning to communicate with themselves what they want in life, what they want around them in life as well. Okay, so we have then got, um, what does this person love? Okay, creativity, seize the day and peace, open your heart. Lovely. This person craves peace and prosperity, happiness, contentment, being able to flow, being able to do um beautiful things in the world knight of cups they're quite romantic chariot they actually love forward momentum and ten of swords they they love intellectual challenges they actually they love people who can meet them on an intellectual level um they 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 would love to move beyond the pain of pain like they just actually love to move beyond pain and just be at peace I think I really feel like they 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 love being able to open their heart. They love being romantic. They love they love just hanging out with people who just want to be kind and gentle and calm. But something isn't with this bouncing. Something that they love peace. They crave peace, and maybe that's what that's what they actually do in their spare time. Um, I feel that this person is very sensitive, but perhaps doesn't actually show it. Um, what do they love? They 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 love. Perhaps they love building sandcastles, <laughs> painting eggs. They love animals. Look at these two. Like they're very forward moving. They are a forward moving. They are a very forward moving energy as well. They love moving forward. Um, they love. They love. They love the flow of life. Okay, what do they dream of? 
intention, spinning fate, letting go, emotional release. Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, and Eight of Pentacles. This person dreams of, there's a little child in here. This person dreams, perhaps being able to provide to their family, we've got this, this or giving birth to creativity, just to, 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 to cocooning those that they love and that could be that could be um children it could be um purpose it could be creativity they feel what they what they dream of is feeling that they don't have to be so in control that they have they 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 love they love energy that has power and creativity and determination they love powerful energy this could well be you now coming into this reading pile number four but they also love freedom and expansion and self-expression and creativity and growth and self-mastery. This is an independent soul who longs to be more free and more free flowing, but also loves to provide and nurture and cocoon. Um, so half of the time they just want to be free and on their own and being in self-mastery and half the time they want to provide and protect and flow with those that they love. And they also love intellect. They love downloads. They love, they love, power but compassionate power so that's that's they dream of they dream of all of this energy just kind of working and flowing around them okay how do they view you pile number four what is what is going on for them when it comes to you what do they think of or what do they feel or what are they doing where are they at with you, pile number four in particular? No, not that one, that one. Oh, and that one. Okay. We have got here exercise, workout, fitness, gym, lifestyle change. Not yet. Not the right time. Wait. Truth, honesty, faithful, clarity, confession. Water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, home, family, comfort, moving house. Okay. What this person feels about with you perhaps they're preparing themselves to come and talk the truth to you but not yet they're not ready yet they're kind of preparing themselves they're getting themselves relationship fit they are um they are perhaps just focused on their physical health um they would love to have a confession they'd love to have a, a, a truthful conversation with you they want to be Maybe you're a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Maybe they are, but I feel they just want to talk emotions. They want to talk intuition. They want to, they want to be able to talk, the, speak the truth about their emotions. Um, and and maybe you feel like home to this person. Maybe they want to invite you to their home. Maybe they want to invite you to come and visit. Um, if you're not with them, I don't feel like you're with this person. I feel like they're very much, um bouncing around in their own energy at this point in time trying to figure out who they are and what they are and what they want um conquering their fear of surviving understanding who they are understanding how to lead and what they want sorting out their financial health creating opportunities for themselves but there's a lot of self-mastery in here so this person has a lot of wishes okay so and lifestyle change this person is also figuring out could they fit you into their life okay what else are they what else are they thinking about you how else do they view this connection with pile number four okay we have got the sun lovely the king of cups wow the knight of swords and the ace of wands so this person really just when they think of you they feel so much joy they feel that they're able to be very emotionally available they'd love to be very emotionally available to you they, they like the king of cups is the ultimate happy card like the person who is most in tune with their emotions you help them feel in tune with their emotions they feel a lot of joy when they think of this connection and they would love to rush towards you um and they feel like they manifested you so so this person this person really, 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 like, really feels a lot, like, of happiness, of joy, of love, of 
of desire, of passion, of of contentment when they're thinking about you. Um, we've got this energy of not yet. And, and obviously, pile number four, you may not be with this person. Um, oh, sorry, I don't think you're with this person. You may not want to be with this person, but this is how they're feeling about you. So you have free will. If this person is completely focused on themselves and, and not on you, maybe you know, maybe you have moved on and you're just wondering where they're at. Um, okay, let us see what are their intentions towards you, pile number four. Mm, slow to come out. They're not sure. They're not really sure what their intentions are at this point in time. But let us keep going. Yeah, okay. So the cards are a little bit sticky there. And we have got bees and community and coffee. And we have got yield patience. Yeah, not yet. Okay. They'd love to have a coffee with you, but they're kind of hanging out in their own community at this point in time. And they're just like, they're not ready yet to yield to the desire to come towards you. Um, so let us just get some more tarot. And we have got here the lovers the Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. They would love to come forward with a message. Um, it would it would just bring them so much joy and balance. They they would love a partnership with you. They would love opportunities. They would they they just adore you. They want to be they want to be your 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 partner, that that your lover. They, they that's what they want. That's that's what would bring them balance. They want to reach out with a message. Um, and that's their intention, but they're they they kind of they're not yet ready to yield to that or if they are they're going to yield soon but it's it here with the not yet it's not quite yet um so i feel like this is very energetic i think the not yet is um the not yet is very much based on how you are both energetically like this bouncing around has to stop <laughs> um they need the same level of calm here as they do here and at this point in time they're kind of happy with where they're at um in terms of relationships because i feel they have to be replete in the relationship with themselves or they're having to keep other relationships like you know family relationships replete as well okay but it feels that that's it feels very balanced this doesn't like so who are they what are their purpose what do they want how are they going to do it what's their spiritual connection the universe keeps perhaps sending them challenges that keeps them bouncing around feel, making them feel ungrounded and then they have to calm themselves again so advice from your guardian angels and from their guardian angel. So your guardian angel here, their guardian angel there. We have got from your guardian angel. Which one, please? That one there. We have got liberation. Free yourself from worrying about this. Focus on you. Focus on your purpose. Focus on your passion. Um, and we have got from their guardian angel, energy. And we've got a second one actually coming through from here and learning. Yeah, they're learning about energy. Okay. <laughs> Quite literally, this person is, this is the bouncing. All right. This person is going through an understanding and a journey of learning about energy, like um, spiritual energy. And this is something that they're going to have to do. I want to get you another one, seeing as they got two. That will be unfair if you don't have two guardian angel messages. Okay. So from your guardian angel, another message, please. There is there. We have got initiation. Yeah, liberation and initiation. I feel like you're both going through some kind of um, energetic journey. I think they're discovering energy and you're discovering spirituality. Uh, there's kind of like a difference going on here. Well, oh, excuse me. Gosh, I beg your pardon. I don't normally... Um, I was a little bit of escaping wind going on in there. So how horrible for you. But that's actually really interesting. It's relevant. It's like you're having to expel... Um, from your system any energy that doesn't belong to you and really embrace the energy that is um, that is meant for you you have a divine path and you're walking up towards that and the quicker you get there the quicker they'll come as soon as you liberate yourself from worrying about looking at them and actually step through the portal of your awakening um, your spiritual awakening this is very 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 strong spiritual energy their understanding energy so that they can at least have a conversation they may never be as spiritually awakened as you because they're bouncing around their understanding of it but they are really learning they're interested they're wanting to know about it okay anything else from your guardian angels that we need to know 
from your guardian angels for pile number four. We have got here the six of cups. We've got the five of swords. We've got the seven of pentacles. And we've got the two of cups. I had a feeling the two of cups was going to come out and the six of cups. So for some of you, this might be somebody you've already met. You are perhaps a same soul connection or a deep, deep, deep soulmate, twin flame. If it resonates, you'll know it if you know it. And if it doesn't resonate, then it doesn't resonate. But for some people, it is a very real thing. Um, for those of you, this just could be this real kind of like soulmate energy. But you don't have to you don't have to accept that. Um you know, there's the, if you're feeling conflicted or, or indecisive, just focus, be patient, focus on building your material world, focus on um, be patient, um, be patient with yourself, focus on yourself. If you don't, if you keep focusing on, um, if you keep focusing on what isn't there, then you'll keep getting what isn't there. So remove all doubt that this is somebody perhaps from your past is going to return, but they're going to return when you're ready, right? So just have patience. This is very, very, very much about energy. Um, so your guardian angels want you to know that this is an assured connection, but be patient. Be patient and let go of the fear. Okay, and then for you and for them, we've got some advice for you. Release negative habits. <laughs> OK, we all form habits and patterns in our lives, whether in thought or in action. But like a pair of comfortable old slippers, there comes a time when they outgrow their value to us and we must let them go. Do something different today that shakes you out of your usual ways of responding and have fun doing so. OK, love that. And for them, things that are advice that they're being given is the bigger picture. Sometimes, particularly during times of accelerated growth, we feel confused and overwhelmed, unable to see the wood for the trees. This card asks you to stand back and see the bigger picture. Everything is happening just as it should, and you will soon regain clarity. That is what the universe is bringing to them and teaching them and why there's all this bouncing around their crown chakra, because they're being taught about the bigger picture, particularly about energy and learning. And they need to have those lessons and you need to release worrying about anything except the patience that you require to grow and step towards your future because you are being initiated into something very high level and spiritual. Um, ultimately, this could be that you both have a coming together that will help the world and help the environment, but you have free will. If you don't feel that this is something that's ever going to happen to you, then it probably won't. If you feel that it's destined and it's going to, then the more you focus on you and you come into alignment with, with you, like stay independent, looking forward, to your future and the universe is going to do the rest okay pal number four i am going to leave it there i really hope this helps take care bye